हाय एवरीबडी आय एम बी एस पाटील गवर्नमेंट फर हेड कॉलेज धारवाड टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू सॉल्व न्युमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द टॉपिक हेल्मोट्स गॅलनोमीटर अँड अप्लिकेशन ऑफ अम्पेअर सर्किट ला इन डिरायव्हिंग द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द मॅग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू सलनाईड अँड टोराईड बिफोर गोईंग टू सॉल्व न्युमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स let us recall the expressions which we derived in previous sessions the important formula are the magnetic field at a point midway between the coils of the helmholtz galvanometer on their common axis is the magnetic field b can be written as 8 mu not ni over 5 root 5 into a so here n is the number of turns and i is the current flowing through the helmholtz galvanometer and a is the radius here the current through the coils of the helmholtz helmholtz galvanometer is given by i is equal to 5 root 5 a bh tan theta divided by 8 mu not n here the a and n are having the usual meaning and bh is the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field and theta is the deflection produced in the helmholtz galvanometer the horizontal from the above equation again we can rewrite the horizontal uh, component of earth's magnetic field as ph is equal to 8 into mu not ni divided by 5 root 5 a tan theta so in similar manner now we can recall the uh, expressions which we derived uh, in case of the solenoid and toroid first we can see the magnetic field along solenoid well inside the solenoid is given by b is equal to mu not into n into i here n is the number of turns per unit length here n we can calculate by dividing the total number of the turns uh, with the length of the solenoid in case of the uh, solenoid the magnetic field at a point near its end of the solenoid is given by half of the magnetic field produced uh, well inside the solenoid that is b is equal to 1 by 2 mu not into n into i so here the mu not is the permeability of the free space so thus in terms of the total number of the turns we can write the magnetic field b uh, near its end of the solenoid as 1 by 2 mu not into n divided by l into i now in case of the toroid the magnetic field produced uh, at any point along the circular path within the toroid means so in that the tubular uh, region in the toroid the magnetic field b is equal to mu not into n i here the magnetic field inside and the outside the toroid it is zero here the uh, the n number that is the number of turns per unit length can be calculated by the total number n divided by the length of the uh, toroid so here l can be substituted as l is equal to 2 pi r that is the circular path of the toroid so here we can solve the problems starting with the simple problems that is a solenoid of 1.5 meter long and 0.4 cm diameter possesses 10 turns per cm length a current of 1 ampere flows through it calculate the magnetic field at the axis inside the solenoid 
so here the number of turns per centimeter is given so we have to convert the number of turns per meter in si we have to write this 10 turns per centimeter length can be converted in terms of the meter so hence here by using the magnetic field b is equal to mu naught n into i so here the number of turns is 10 turns divided by l is 1 centimeter that you have to convert in terms of the meter then we have to write this as b is equal to so mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 and here n is the uh, number of turns that is uh, 10 here the current 1 ampere is flowing 10 to the power of minus 2 means 1 centimeter we have to write in terms of the meter then on substituting these values the value of the magnetic uh, field comes out to be 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 4 tesla okay now let us move to the next problem a solenoid of length 0 0.5 meter is wound with an insulated wire and it carries a current of 2 ampere if there are 350 turns per meter length of the solenoid calculate the magnetic field at its center so here it, this is also a simple uh, problem directly we can substitute so we know that the expression for the magnetic field b is is equal to mu naught n into i here n is the number of turns per unit length here already it is given 350 turns per meter itself it is given directly we can substitute this as a 350 and current is i current i is 2 ampere and mu naught value already we know on substituting this we get the value of the magnetic field b as 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power of minus 4 tesla okay now we can move to the uh, next uh, problem this is also having the direct substitution a solenoid of length 15 centimeter has 300 turns if current flowing through the solenoid is 5 ampere calculate the magnetic field inside the solenoid so here the length of the solenoid is given as a 15 centimeter and the number of the turns as a 300 turns now we have to calculate the number of turns per unit length as a 300 divided by 15 centimeter that you have to convert in terms of the meter now we are using the expression b is equal to mu naught n into i divided by l so you have to substitute the n value as a 300 i value as a 5 ampere and mu naught you know already and l is 15 centimeter so that you have to you have written in terms of a meter and on substituting this we will get 12.5 the magnetic field as a 12.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla okay now the next one so this is based on again solenoid a 0 0.5 meter long solenoid has 500 turns and has a flux density that is the magnetic field as a 2.52 into 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla at its center find the current in the solenoid here we have to uh, get the value of uh, the current through the solenoid we know the number of turns per unit length we can calculate uh, by using the above data as 500 divided by 0 0.5 this comes out to be uh, 1000 per meter this is a small uh, n value now by using 
the expression by rearranging the term we can uh, get the expression as uh, i is equal to b divided by mu naught into n and on substituting the n value and b value it is already given b value as a 2.52 into 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla and also the n value we can get the current value in terms of the ampere as a 2 ampere so this is a, a simple uh, problem we can solve easily so one more simple problem that is if the coils of the Helmholtz galvanometer have diameter of 14 centimeter and number of turns as 175 each, find the magnetic field at midway between them on their common axis when a current of 0.1 ampere is passed through them. Okay. So, here we have to calculate the magnetic field at uh, midway between so the coils of uh, the galvanometer. So, galvanometer coil has a diameter of uh, 14 centimeter. So, that we have to uh, uh, calculate the radius as a 7 centimeter. The number of turns is already given as a 175. So, here directly we have to insert the value of n as a 175 and current value as 0 0.1 ampere and a value as a 7 centimeter that you have to convert in terms of meter. So, on, in, on substituting the values, we will get the magnetic field at midway between the coils of the Helmholtz galvanometer as 2.25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Weber per meter square. So, we can also mention the unit as a Tesla. Okay. Now, we can solve one, one more problem based on the Helmholtz galvanometer. A Helmholtz galvanometer has coils of radius 20 centimeter and the number of turns 50 calculate the current through the coil which produces a deflection of 45 degree here the value of horizontal component of earth's magnetic field is given as 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla so, here the number of turns given as a 50 and a radius is a 20 centimeter. So, here we can write the formula for the current flowing through the Helmholtz galvanometer as a I is equal to phi root phi A BH tan theta divided by 8 mu naught into N. So, here Insert the value of BH as 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Tesla. Here the value of theta is 45 degree. Hence tan 45 is equal to 1. And here the radius is 20 centimeter. And by substituting the value of number of turns as 50. On simplifying we can get the value of current as 0 0.11 ampere. Now we can solve the problems based on the solenoid. Consider a solenoid of radius 0 0.02 meter uh, which is uh, closely wound with 200 turns. The number of turns are 200. The magnetic field at the center of one end of the solenoid is 3.14 into 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla. If the current through the solenoid is 5 amperes, calculate the length of the solenoid. So, in this case, we have to recall 
the expression for the magnetic field at the center of one end of the solenoid so that is given by b is equal to 1 by 2 into mu naught n into i on sub uh, on substituting the value of n small n as a capital n divided by l that is that is a l capital l is the length of the solenoid and forming the equation for length of the solenoid as a 1 by 2 l is equal to 1 by 2 mu naught into n divided by b dash into i so now we have to substitute the values of n i b and mu naught like this then on simplifying we can get the value of length of the solenoid as a 0 0.2 meter now we can solve the problem based on the toroid a toroid has a core of inner radius 25 centimeter and outer radius 26 centimeter around which 3500 turns of wire are wound if the current in the wire is 11 ampere what is the magnetic field a outside the toroid b inside the core of the toroid c in the empty space surrounded by the toroid so here we know that outside the toroid and empty space surrounded by the toroid that is in the tubular area the magnetic field is zero now we have to calculate in this toroid the field inside the core of the toroid so for that the we have to find first the mean radius of the toroidal ring so to calculate the mean of the 25 centimeter and 26 centimeter we have to add and uh, we have to divide it by 2 then we will get the mean radius as a 25.5 into 10 to the power of a minus 2 meter now we have to get the total length of the toroid this total length of the toroid is nothing but the circumference circumference of the toroidal ring that is 2 pi r on substituting the value so we are getting this as a pi into 51 into 10 to the power of a minus 2 hence the number of turns that is n can be written as the n is a total uh, this is this gives the capital n 3500 and divide it with the value of the circumference then we are getting the value of n so here to find the magnetic field inside the core of the toroid we have to write the expression as a b is equal to mu naught into n into i on substituting the value of the n here we can write the uh, mu naught as a 4.2 to 10 to the power of minus 7 and uh, this capital n is uh, 3500 turns and the 11 11 ampere that is the current flowing through the toroid divided by the circumference the length of uh, the circumference then on substituting this we can get the value of b inside the core of the toroid as 3.02 into 10 to the power of minus 2 tesla okay so here the as i uh, explained earlier the field outside the toroid and at the empty space surrounded by the toroid so this is these are zero now we can solve one more problem based on the uh, solenoid a solenoid has a mean diameter of 0 0.06 meter 
and which is having the length 2.5 meters. So if it has a three layers of 1000 turns, then calculate the flux density at its center when a current of 2 ampere flows through it. Here we are uh, also calculate the magnetic flux at its center. To get the value of the magnetic flux at the center and uh, flux density at its uh, center when the current uh, 2 ampere flows through it, then we have to calculate first the total number of the turns that is it has since it has three layers we have to consider the number of turns total number of the turns as 3000 then magnetic field b is given by mu naught n into i so here again n we are substituting as a capital n divided by l then we are getting on substituting the values of uh, i, n and mu naught and uh, this uh, length 2.5 meter. Then we are getting the value of a magnetic field as a, uh, 3 into 3.016 into 10 to the power of a minus 3 tesla. To find the magnetic uh, flux, magnetic flux, the, this is a flux density. The flux density is nothing but magnetic uh, field. Here to calculate the magnetic flux. So we know that flux can be represented as a phi is equal to B into A because uh, the magnetic field B is uh, nothing but uh, flux per unit area. Thus phi flux can be written as a B into A. So we know the value of the magnetic field as 3.016 into 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla and the area area of the solenoid we can represent the cross sectional area of the solenoid is pi r square here r is 0 0.03 since the diameter of the solenoid is 0 0.06 we can get the value of the radius of the solenoid as a 0 0.03 so thus pi r square so on simplifying the above equation we can get the value of phi that is a flux magnetic flux at its center as 8.53 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Weber Thus, then uh, we can solve one more uh, problem based on the Helmholtz galvanometer. So, a Helmholtz galvanometer, uh, which is having the 50 turns in each of its coils, having the main radius of 9 centimeter, when current of 70 milliampere is passed through the coil, a deflection of 45 degrees obtained. So here we have to calculate the horizontal component of a earth's magnetic field. So we know the expression for the BH in terms of current flowing through the Helmholtz galvanometer and the deflection as a BH is equal to 8 mu naught Ni divided by phi root phi A into tan theta. Again by inserting the values given as a mu naught as a 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7, n as a 50 turns, i the current flowing is 70 milliampere. Here we have to convert this i value in terms of ampere. Again, the mean radius is 9 centimeter. So here we have to convert uh, uh, this. Uh, into SI that is a 9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 and uh, tan the 45 tan 45 is uh, this is equal to 1 so on inserting the values given uh, like this so on 
simplifying the above equation we can get the bh in terms of a tesla that is 3.49 into 10 to the power of a minus 5 tesla so like this you have to solve the problem based on the uh, helmholtz galvanometer and uh, the solenoid and toroid okay here i am giving the problems for the practice get the solution thank you